Hey y'all, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. My name is Artrice, if you are new here, and today we're in front of my bookcase, which means we're doing something book related. And we're gonna be talking about my January TBR, which I know was a little bit late, but don't tell nobody, it's okay. So let's just get right into it. <laughs> The first book I have on my January TBR is Love in My Language by Alexandra L. This is a collection of prose and poetry mixed in with some journal prompts as well, which basically is trying to have the reader find what their love language is or what is love in your own personal language. It talks a lot about trauma, it talks about insecurities, depression, um, trigger warnings for suicidal attempts. Um, mixed in here because the author Alexandra L speaks a lot of her own personal experiences with previous relationships and dealing with abuse, emotional abuse, verbal abuse, and her own insecurities as well. It's really motivational and really inspiring. The next book on my TBR is Tools of Engagement by Tessa Bailey. This is the third book in her Hot and Hammered series and it is following Bethany and she is trying to prove to her brothers basically that she is more than capable of fixing up her own house, flipping her own house. Apparently all she does in her brother's construction company is decorate the houses for when they are sold. But she wants to flip her own house and so she decides to leave her brother's construction company, buy her own house with intention of flipping it herself. But the only problem is she needs a team. And unfortunately, the only member of her brother's construction team that is willing to help her is a man named Wes Daniels, who is new to town. And they don't like each other. And so I think this is going to be kind of like a hate to love, dislike to love. And we'll see. I read the other two books in her series and I enjoyed them. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the series out. The next book on my January TBR is Jade War by Fonda Lee. This book is the sequel to Jade City and basically I'll just tell you kind of what Jade City is about roughly. Um, it takes place in a country called Kakan and you are following two clans, basically two Greenbone clans who are rivals due to their mining and selling of jade which they wear and embed in their bodies because it enhances their powers and abilities and they are at war with each other basically and something happens at the end of jade city and we're basically picking up off where they left in jade war and spoilers so i'm not going to tell you guys what happens but it's a really interesting fantasy apparently it sold us like the godfather but asian-esque and it's definitely intriguing and fast-paced and i'm i enjoy jade city a lot so I'm excited to finish this series out. The next book on my TBR is The Murders of Molly Southborn by Today Thompson. And I'm reading this book now, as you can tell by my bookmark <laughs> inside of it. This is a short novella horror, I believe, which is so short. So it's going to be kind of hard to tell you guys what it's about without saying too much of the story but basically it is about a young woman who every time she bleeds another one of her is produced I guess or cloned or comes to be and they basically seek her out and she has been trained basically since birth by her parents to fight and kill these other Molly Southborns that are coming after her yeah so <laughs> i'm excited to finish reading this and see what it's about apparently this is also a series so if i enjoy this enough i may continue on with reading the other series in this the next book on my tbr is and the trees crept in by Dawn Kurtigich. I hope I'm saying her name right. Um, this book is a thriller, mystery, possibly a horror as well. And I'm just going to read the Goodreads description because it's really short and I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> Stay away from the woods. When Sila and Nori arrive at their aunt's home, it's immediately clear that the manor is cursed. 
The endless creaking of the house at night and the eerie stillness of the woods surrounding them would be enough of a sign, but there are secrets too. Questions that Sila can't ignore. What does it seem that ever since they arrived, the trees have been creeping closer? Who is the beautiful boy who's appeared from the woods? And who is the tall man with no eyes who Nori plays with in the basement at night? A man no one else can see. So this sounds really intriguing and interesting and I'm here for it. Um, I love thrillers. I haven't really been reading a lot of them lately. Towards the end of the year, I was really into romance. So that's where all of my attention was. But I'm excited to get into thrillers and fantasies and horrors and all of that again. The next book I have on my January TBR is If the Boot Fits by Rebecca Weatherspoon. This is the second book in the Cowboys of California series. And I really enjoyed the first one. So of course, I'm going to go ahead and keep going in the series, even though this one doesn't intrigue me as much as the first one does. But basically, we are following the next brother in this Cowboys of California series world Sam Pleasant who is a famous actor and he comes into contact with a personal assistant named Amanda Queen who is assistant to another Hollywood star and they have a one night stand I believe but before he can like get her number try to see her again she disappears the next morning but she takes his Oscar award that he won the night before on accident and so now Sam is all super intrigued and interested in getting to know her and finding her and getting his award back I'm sure so yeah it sounds like romance will ensue after that and who knows so yeah and the last book I have on my TBR is For When You Decide to Be Honest by Barbara Semi Muhumuza. Um, this is a collection of poetry. It's really short. On the back it says, An Honest Journey Through Blackness, Love, and Family, The Aftermath of Deep Understanding. One of my favorite poems is in this book. It's called Scene. I actually have the t-shirt that she sold with the poem on it as well. So I knew I had to pick up the entire collection and I'm excited to read this. It should be a quick read and I'm sure it'll be five stars. So that is all the books I have on my official TBR. I use quotation marks because I never stick to my TBR usually. Sometimes I don't even read all the books that I put on my TBR. Sometimes I just get into a mood and I want to read a certain genre or I want to read a certain series and I totally don't even look at the rest of my TBR. Which is why I think this TBR is shorter than my previous ones because I really am not sure what kind of mood I'm in. So as you can tell, I've had a mixture of genres in my TBR like fantasy, romance, thrillers, poetry. I'm a little bit all over the place because I'm hoping that I can kind of see what mood I'm in for what kind of genre of book I want to read. Um, also, I didn't really know what I wanted to read in January, so I decided to pick from each genre. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this short video and I look forward to seeing my books read in January video because like I said, who knows what I'm going to end up reading this month. But make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace and love. Because I'm done.